David. I get somebody. Yes. Me. Sorry to make you wait, buddy. We, we're in the middle of some dumb talk. Hey, Come. listen, I got another call. I got to do in nine minutes, though. Oh, wow. All right, we'll we'll go quickly. Are you like on the tour where you got to call us yeah. and call somebody else? Yeah. Who, who are you calling next? Let's see. No, I'm calling one contact number at six. Ah. Uh, and sit. then they set him up some. Yeah. Some oh, oh, I see. David, how do, you, how do you say your last name? I can never say your last name. I'm not gonna, Kepner. Yeah, I'm not going to butcher it. You were on um, SNL for uh, 95, 96. Yeah. Yeah, you got a good memory. Uh, well, we got your uh, we got your bio in front of us. <laughs> I mean, you were in 40 Year Old Virgin, Anchorman, uh, right? Uh, a Dukes of Hazard movie. I mean, if, if 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 people saw your face, they would be like, oh my god, that guy, very very right. funny. And you're in the latest movie, Thank You for Smoking, which I saw I think last week. I loved it. Thanks, man. That's a good one, isn't it? You want it? Well, it's a, it's a smart movie, so I, yeah. I'm wondering how many people are going to go see it. Well, it's uh, I think it's going to do really well. They're expanding to a thousand some theaters. Oh, there week. you go. Look at that. Look at that. Taking on Scary Movie Four with your with your thank you for smoking. <laughs> <laughs> your smarty pants satire. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, you want to explain the movie to everybody? Uh, it's based on a. Here you go. Here's your smarty pants. It's based on a Christopher Buckley novel. Mm. Uh oh. Uh, it's based on a novel from '92, and Christopher Buckley was taking on political correctness because um, that was uh, the height of that certain atmosphere, if you will. And so he, they skewer both sides of uh, the issue of smoking, if you will. All right. Uh, but uh, ironically, no one ever smokes in the movie. Um, so it's not about smoking. It's about spin control. It's about lobbyists. It's about point of view. Uh, it's also got a little morality tale in there because the father's got to, you're just talking about fathers and sons. The father's got to teach his son how to make an argument, how to argue, uh, not necessarily right and wrong, but how you tell the difference between right and wrong, yeah. and what is right and wrong. Right. Because these days, you know, people have opinions, but that doesn't necessarily make them right. It's just like if someone's got a strong opinion, no one will challenge it and assume it's right. Yeah, and the lead character, his whole job is to convince America that smoking is not as bad as you think. <laughs> right. and there are people out there that, that do that. Yeah, for a living. That's exactly, yeah. that's their job. And and uh, you play actually the head of the uh, NRA, I guess, basically, or a lobbyist well, for the NRA. The, the gun lobby. They don't call it the NRA. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right. And, the uh, gun lobby. And it's great because uh, David's character gets together with the guy that's uh, taking care of the smoking thing mm -hmm. and uh, the alcohol. Uh, who, oh, shoot. Mar Maria Bello. That's right. She's And she's, uh, you know, she's the trying lobbyist to, for the alcohol industry. So she's spinning, uh, saying alcohol is not as bad and the drunk driving thing is not as bad as people think. And then right. David's character is the, the gun thing and then the guy with the smoking and they get together and, like, t you know, uh, swap information. Yeah, yeah, we hang out at a restaurant because we all work for these awful, all, we have these hard jobs of spinning for these uh, companies that kill people, <laughs> right. and uh, one way or another, or accidentally, whatever, I'm not going to spin for it, uh, and uh, we call ourselves the merchants of death. The merchants of death, right, and they get together and just compare notes and stuff uh, to help each other's jobs out. So. Right, we, uh, we uh, compete with uh, death figures. Yeah, and and turns out that uh, the smoking thing is the worst as far as uh, deaths every year, right? As far as killers, yeah. And then the alcohol and the gun thing just didn't seem too bad, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't even compare. Right. It didn't even come close. It's a tongue lash. I mean, come on, 11,000 deaths a year? Right. That doesn't even touch what I do. Right. I forget what his product kills. I forget all the quotes, but they're pretty hilarious. Yeah. Folks, bottom line, you got to go see this picture. I, yeah. I, I really Looks enjoyed really it. good. I definitely enjoyed the uh, the the movie. You uh you a smoke? I don't. No, huh? I got kids. Oh, you smoke them? Oh, what are you? Uh, like, so they, yeah, so they smoke. Never seen. I yeah. tell you what, my kids watched uh, <clears throat> my kids watch Grease, and in Greek, because they're little kids, right, six yeah. and four, and they enjoy it, and uh, it's one of my wife's favorites. So they're watching the movie, and uh, you know they smoke in that movie. Yeah. Swear to God, the next day, they take a straw and act like they're smoking. <clears throat> Yeah, kids will do that though. I remember being a kid, and they used to sell what they uh, called the candy cigarettes in the uh, oh, yeah. in the stores. You go down there. How the hell did they get away? And with it that? was in the little pack that looked like Marlboro, and it was candy, and a little red like paint at the tip of it. Yep. And, and, yeah, and you'd be like, "Hey, look, I'm smoking like uh, Daddy." 
There was also later came gum, and if you actually blew out on the gum, do you remember this one? Yeah. You blew out on the yeah. gum, it looked like smoke came out yeah, of it. Yeah, because it was like some powdered sugar stuff would yes. come flying out of it, and it would look like smoke. But they pulled all that stuff uh, off the market. I've still seen uh, candy cigarettes around. Really? Where? To like yes. Taiwan? Where do you see that? Where? <laughs> where in America? I bet it was down south. <laughs> No, actually, it was one of those, you know, those trucks that have ice cream and candy and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, the ice cream trucks, yeah. my friend. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my friend, you get the candy cigarette, my friend. Exactly. <laughs> well, when does the uh, movie come out? Well, it's, it's been it's out, out, it's out, but they're expanding it to more theaters. That's what they got to do. They do that little test run, do they? I think they call it platforming. Platforming. There's a word for everything, Dang. God damn it. What do I know? Platforming. Platforming. I just know, I, hey, wow, look, it's, there's a cool movie in my theater. I, I, I'm going to go see it. I guess that's what they did with that uh, basic uh, instinct, too. They were, they were platforming. <laughs> yeah, I guess. No, no, one really wanted to, wow. no one really wanted to see that for the second time around. Well, Man, I mean, how many years has it been between the two movies, know, right? Leg, leg crossings. 30. Yeah. And they blatantly were trying to like promote it that way, where they showed her cross the legs and put a big like black box oh over uh, her. The movie yeah. made $4.600 oh. at yeah. the box office. Yeah. yeah Just. <laughs> <laughs> they said it averaged, it averaged something like four people per theater. Oh, nice. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's an, intimate, it's an intimate date movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You could go in there and, and uh, get away from everybody. Yeah, because right. I, I really want to see Sharon Stone's uh, 50-year-old pussy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Christ. How about you make hey, basic hey, instincts? Don't hold back. How about you make Basic Instinct 2 maybe two, three years later? <laughs> yeah. You wait two decades. Gee, thanks. Or, yeah. Or thanks for throwing us a bone. Or recast it. Think her pussy or tastes recast like it. A, think yeah. her pussy tastes like an alligator's stomach? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know, I've never uh, tasted an alligator's stomach, but that's still funny. <laughs> I can only imagine. You don't even need to imagine for some reason. <laughs> so you got it. You got it good with this movie. This isn't one of those movies that needs to be like this over the top, hundreds of millions of dollars to be successful. It's just got to right. be uh, critically acclaimed. You know? Yeah, it's getting great review. You know, yep. it speaks for itself. It really, it really is a fun movie, and it works from the beginning to the end. You walk out and you go, "Wow, that worked!" Yeah, and it, people, people get it because yep. yeah, yeah. I could just see some people that don't really get it. There was some, right. what is this? There were some really, really funny scenes in this movie. They're trying to brainwash me. Yeah, yeah. Are a PG I'm not going in there. They're going to try to make me smoke. Uh, <laughs> what rating did they give you guys? A PG uh, thirteen? I think it's an R. An R, oh, really? Oh, Good. Yeah. Why? Because of the subject matter? I think because of the sex scenes. Oh. And doesn't she say, "I want you inside"? I, I want you inside me when I see you on TV. Oh, the Katie Holmes scene. Right. Oh, right. That okay. was really good. Mm. Yeah. Dude, that was hilarious. I forgot all about that until you just. I don't want to give it away. Damn it! I, I want to talk there. about it. Huh? <laughs> I wonder what ever happened to her. Yeah, where'd she go? You never hear about her anymore. <laughs> you really think she's pregnant? A lot of people don't think she's pregnant. I we all gotta wait to see what's under that shirt. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> shirt. Yeah, L. Ron Hubbard's <laughs> L. Ron Hubbard's ashes. <laughs> they, just, they just ripped out pages of Dianetics and shoved it down her shirt. You know, the, the, <laughs> the scene with Katie Holmes is actually really funny because we could, you know, kind of relate in a way. Like uh, she's a reporter. Mm -hmm. And she starts yeah. ba banging this guy. So he's like, not because we bang reporters, by the way, but you'll, you'll, you'll understand what I'm getting at. And you th I guess he assumed that they had something because they're having sex. So he's telling right. her all this information, assuming it's, you know, it's off, off the record because yeah. they're having sex, you know. Yeah. And we've been in positions with some of our friendly reporters like, ah, oh, he can't possibly uh, screw us. It's our pal. Right. So he he he's just yapping 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 because he's having sex with her and and she just uh, puts out an article and destroys the dude in the movie and yeah. and he's all surprised like what I thought we had something yeah. it was well well done yeah and, yeah thanks man it was a lot of fun yeah I, I uh, encourage people to see this movie I really enjoyed it so right on and uh, I I liked you in Forty Year Old Virgin and, and Anchorman man. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah those, those were uh, those were amazing. Uh, Four year old virgin. I just did a day because Steve's a friend. They called me and asked me if I want to come and uh, do some of the movies. Said sure. Anchorman, man, that was fun every day. Right. 
So you got a Spike Lee thing going on with Steve Carell because I'm looking like you got you're in like all the shit he does. So y'all got like that. Hey, call uh, you know, call Dave. Up. Well, I've known it, I've known him for 15 years, and he and I, his wife and I, were on Saturday Night Live together. I've known those guys from Chico since Chicago. Mm -hmm. We're all at Second City at the same time. Right. What uh, any character we might know on SNL? Did you have a character? Do you remember uh, T Bones? It's an extra sketch I did with uh, Christopher Walken. Was hilarious. Gerald oh, T Bones Simmons. In fact, I got my own television show coming out this summer in August with uh, Comedy Central based on that character. Really? Uh, what other, the other ones? Don't remember the Fops or uh, what else? I did Pat Buchanan. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Gary Donald, Norman Donald's brother Gary. You still have to audition, or you just get offers now? That's how. Oh no, I audition. But you get offers though, right? Every once in a while for you're tiny an offer guy. I feel it. Hey, I know man, you're trying I'm to trying to keep humble. I know you're trying to keep humble, but you're an offers guy. I feel it. I feel <laughs> it. I feel he gets offers. He's just trying to like that that uh, humble thing that we do. Like, hey, we don't want to uh, get jinxed. Oh anything. no, I wish it was true. Really? Yeah. All Everyone's right. you, man. Show business is a craggy mountain that everyone's crawling on all fours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but trees work with Steve. Right? I've been in the Patrice. office a few times. Yeah, Patrice like has been in the real, office. Man. Yeah, David, yeah. Patrice O'Neill's in the studio. He's been in uh, the office. He does Web Junk 20 for viewers. Yeah. One. <laughs> hey, look at his face, you motherfucker. That's just like being in uh, Thank You for Smoking, you know. <laughs> I'm crawling through the quagmire. <laughs> yeah, we're all on all the fours man, over I here, man. I'm my neck and peeing in my mouth, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making fun of you. I, that would be a dream come true to host Web Junk 20. <laughs> we got all the rungs of the entertainment uh, ladder talking at the same time right here. Uh, I'm not even on the ladder yet, and I'm making fun of you. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love it. Uh, David, hey, David, they're telling us you got to go. Yeah. Okay. You, you all right. Hey, man, thanks for having me. Yeah, if you're ever in New York, come on by and say hi to us. I will. All right, David. Thanks, man. Thank okay, you. Peace. It's Bye -bye. Uh, thank you for smoking. It's going to be in theaters uh, all over the place starting this weekend. I love that. They're telling us you got to go thing. Yeah. Like, do you think right now he's thinking, who who told him anything? <laughs> I really think that's a genius thing. Man. Isn't that the it best thing? That because you, I, I called him one time and you guys did like, hey, they're telling us you got to go. Hey, they're telling us you got to go. So, it's so Patrice. It's so funny. like at first you're like, oh yeah, okay. And then you think, who's they? I'm the only motherfucker here on the phone. No, even better when they're in studio. Yeah. You yeah. look at them with a dead straight face, poker face, and go, hey, man, they're telling us you got to go. They're telling us you got to go. We've uh, seen, yeah. Yeah. We've wow. seen guests look around like, who? what? Who's what the telling? Who? But you, they can't dispute it or anything. And you don't change it's them. And all you have to do is like do the do the yeah. hold your right ear thing yeah, with your hold hand. hold your ear. Hey, tell no, us. No, you don't even do that. Take your, and you don't even change your <laughs> poker just face. And they're just like... And they just get up all weird, like, and walk out. It's so uncomfortable, but so much fun. And you know they're down in the elevator just, who told them I got to go? I, I tell you he's got to go. I, I think that is really funny, man. They're telling us.